Tiring has found the perfect account to try and PK. He's done a stack of damage, but this guy is just talking smack and flirting dangerously close with that multi-line. And unfortunately for the streamer, he's been frozen just three tiles away from multi. It didn't take long for the clan of masses to log in, that one being Rot, and yes, they took his plus one, but the man was very determined. He bought a fresh new one from the Grand Exchange and ran straight back out there. Dan, I'm gonna lose another one. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go! I wish I could say Tiring fought the good fight and made the good run all the way back to the Wildy Ditch. <laughs> no monkeys living up to his username there. He has another purple, but the last few he's received have all been rings. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. 23. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. I thought over time, RNG is supposed to like even out to like average, right? With an absolute bunch of purples in his collection log. And let's see if his theory of RNG over time is correct because he had another purple. I think the last three or four purples have been light bears. So with that fact out of the way. Doing a one plus one, meaning he gets to keep all of the GP. It seems his RNG was spread out. That one being his fifth shadow staff in only 600 KC. And speaking of making some money, this Iron Man isn't two phase, but just wants to tick off some good items. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, are you kidding me? Bro, are you kidding me, bro? Bro, third omelet, bro. Third. Third, I swear to God, third. Third omelet, bro. It would have been at least all right if it came with a nice purple, but three omelets in under 500 KC. This man is a breakfast magnet. Like, I don't care about decks. It's like now 7-7, seven, seven, like a football match, but... <laughs> third? What? Bro, can I get a team already, bro? What is this? G'day, you legends. Thank you, as always, for the support on the recent videos. This is video 1,100. That's right, 1.1K daily videos, and it's all thanks to you guys for changing my life. Dino's opponent is completely out at the end of this mammoth battle, but Dino just needs to get the last hit while the guy tries to make an escape, but lucky Dino's friend came along. What? Mr. Vomits, kill him! Kill him! Speck him! Speck him! Speck him! Rob! Roberts just could not quite get that last little bit of damage, the one that got away. And let's switch over to BTC, who is risking Missouri, but he's up so much on the tracker. No, 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 no! The man should have gone down for hundreds of mil. He was guzzling the bruise, but got insanely lucky. Vank is going in for a death match against someone called Big Ethan, one of the best usernames I've ever seen. And they're both wearing one bill worth of gear, but the loser also has to trade over one bill GP. Here, wow, good fight. We just started. <laughs> Let's go! There's hope, there's hope, there's hope, there's hope. Winning two bill on that, but Vank decided to up the ante and throw all of that GP. This one is an eight bill pot and he has a little surprise at the start. Okay, good start, good start, good start. 
Finished off with 99 strength. There we go, 99 strength coming in. Come on, bro. 99 strength out of the eight ball pot. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go, 99 strength and an eight ball dub. An eight ball dub. And you just have to win after getting 99 strength. But what if I told you he decided to up the ante this time going in for an enormous 17 bill pot? 26, 26. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! But unfortunately, doing these death matches slash gambling can be very, very addicting. And this just happens all too often. Here he is going in for a 20 bill pot. I believe, I believe, I believe. That's pain. That's a lot of pain. That is a lot of pain. That is a lot of pain. That is just so much pain, bro. That is indeed a behemoth amount of GP. Vank said everything he won that day, he ended up losing. George was doing a subathon, and one of the forfeits meant that he had to out a random item. Unfortunately, he got the one worth the most GP. Bro, I just out to San. Bro, I got three mil from it, you know? Rebuild. <laughs> Losing about 100 mil on that one, it would have been so much worse if he wasn't a dirty, stinking main. It's always a RuneScape kid. And this RuneScape kid is living out his dreams. Oh my god. Boys, 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 boys. Oh my god. 1700k, see it for Sani. That's the last of the armor pieces for this iron. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I got the squirrel pet. There's the RNG boy. We got the squirrel. <laughs> With one of the coolest shirts we've seen on this channel. And if you notice his XP, it's only 209k, which puts him at level 57 agility. So while trying to get his graceful on his Iron Man, Tommy Two Toned has pulled off an amazing early pet. Tasty recently went to the makeover mage in Falador, and this is how it turned out. I look a little different. Just be, be warned, okay? <clears throat> Hi, guys. Good morning. I don't know how long he kept that up, but I hope it was a long time. Someone in Foe's chat has just informed him that he received a brand new Elijah Spirit Shield and he doesn't know what to do with it. Honestly, man, if I were you, I'd sell it and I'd, you know, level up my skills on my account or buy some pretty cool PVM gear to mess around with. The chatter said one of his IRL buddies was asking if he could borrow it for just a little while. I was thinking to give it to my IRL friend for Inferno. I mean, if you want it to be his now, sure. If, if you don't want an Ellie anymore, that's a decent idea, I suppose. Listen, man, even IRL friends scam stuff on RuneScape, bro. I'm telling you. I've been around the block enough to know this. That's minus one Ellie right there. Many, many friendships have been lost over scamming of items, but some of the best ones have been created when your buddy gives back your full rune set when you tried to log into RuneScape 3 when you were 15. Defy is trying to take on one of the hardest bosses he has ever tried to fight on his Iron Man, the infamous Giant Mole. That's the end. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was dead. Ironically, it looked like Defy himself was taking out his own account. Giant Mole versus Giant Australian Mole. <laughs> Leave me alone. Can I use a yet? So nice to see the item that can take hundreds and hundreds of hours coming in at 21kc. You know what is also nice to see is when Iron Man are just learning the boss and end up getting lucky. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs>
<laughs> Just 11kc and the man didn't even want to stick around. He got that and went straight home.